Krishnaburak institution goes in. We left off. Hilchas Yom Kippurim. Mitzvah Lechol be Erev Yom Kippurim. There's a mitzvah to each. Now the mitzvah, it's interesting. In, in Halacha, when does a day start? A day starts at night time, correct? But yet, in regard to the mitzvah of eating Erev Yom Kippur, it's only the daytime. There's no mitzvah to eat at night time at all. Mitzvah Lechol be Erev Yom Kippurim, Ula Harbis Mesuda. Eat and to even increase the suda. It doesn't say laharbis lecho, laharbis besude, that the suda should be more elaborate. You normally have less courses, less food, have more food. Is the he said the shape? What what's why it says Yisim Nafshu Sechem says it says um, express the way from the ninth to the tenth. So the more it's of the ninth it's of of. Uh, of Yom Kippur is the tenth, it's not the ninth. So Mar says, "Kol ocham shose v'tisha kilo usana b'basiri." If you eat and you drink on the ninth, Hashem values it like you fasted on the tenth. How do we understand it? So you said the Rishon Shabbos says it explains that we have it's the same terminology. Sudam Mavsekus <coughs> Yom Kippur we have erev Tisha but we have Sudam Mavsekus erev Yom Kippurim erev Yom Kippur we have Sudam Mavsekus. They're worlds apart. One meal we eat on the floor, bread, egg dipped in ash, and the other one, it's an elaborate meal, right? They both refer to the same thing, but it's a whole different concept. So he explains what is Yom Kippur? We have endless baggage, we have endless debt. Hashem gives, it, uh, gives, it, gives us a day. We're able to relieve ourselves of all that debt, not only relieve ourselves of the debt, be reinstated and perform a mitzvah. So, what is that? It's, it's a celebration. It's something you celebrate. Had it, so therefore the meal is a festive meal. You're about, you're going to pick up your $900 million lottery winning. That's not presumptuous. We had earlier that Rosh Hashanah, a person cannot enter Rosh Hashanah in the Shevel State. You have to take a haircut, you have to be moved, you have to have cl uh, clean clothing. Because we're confident that if we do the right thing, Hashem will forgive us. Like a parent to a child. Right? You go before a, a judge, a strange judge, you know what kind of judge you're dealing with. But a relation to father to the child. The child is only the father's only waiting for the child to do the right thing. The child wants to forgive and reinstate the child, give the child all all the benefits that he can give the child. That's our relation with Akhurish Baruch And we understand that. So if we behave in a way we enter with with a confidence, but of course we so therefore, Mitzvah Lechol Be'erv Yom Kippurim, it's it's a demonstration of our belief, our Muna, that that is what Yom Kippur is—a day of, of of Kippurim, of forgiveness. That's fine, but that's the mitzvah. You can't fast unless you eat. So that's also lishma. If you want to fast properly, you have to eat. What about if you eat to be healthy? To be able to live as a prophet Jew? It's to be healthy. Good. But Hashem wants you to be healthy. So if my mindset is to be healthy, to be a prophet Jew, that's a mitzvah. You're doing a mitzvah to eat. I'm sleeping sufficiently to be to have a clear mind, to be able to learn and not to get be, and not to be uh, subject to illness. That's a mitzvah. If that's your mindset. Hago. Erev Yom Kippur, you're not permitted to fast. Even if a person had some kind of an ominous dream, a terrible dream. What about a person made a net to fast? He has to be mat netter. Let's see the Shabbat. Mitzvah lecho. Echsiv v'nisem es nafsho sechem b'tisha lachodesh bo'erev. Here, because it is. You should afflict your, your souls from the ninth of the month in the evening. Right? So 
right? They should say on the ninth of the day. It's not on Betish Lechodesh, on ninth of the day, the evening following the ninth. Araerev, Nechsiv Yinisem, Betish Lechodesh. It seems the affliction is on the ninth. Mashi Yisaru Betisha. It seems to be you should fast on the ninth. Ubevshi Yobikim Reina Elevasor Elechodesh. But factually, we only fast on the tenth, not the ninth. Hashem credits you with reward is with the eating. The eating is the equivalent of the fasting. Yeah, do you think it should be more difficult to fast? You eat before and you eat sufficiently, so the fast fast is easier. The greater the pain, the greater the value of the mitzvah. So over here, there's a mitzvah to eat. There's no pain to eat. So how do we apply the principle of Fumtzar Agro when it comes to the eating of Yom Kippur? Maybe you'd say, let's say a person can't afford the food and he goes to all lengths to be able to purchase the food. Okay? That's the Fumtzar Agro. But it seems to be the actual eating is, is it's, it's Tsar. The eating is not Tsar. It's not painful. So he says, that's why the Torah expresses it. The Nisim, it's not Shosech Hashem says, although you have no pain, I value it as if you do have pain. You, you're accredited as if you're doing it with great difficulty, although it's not coming with difficulty. You're accredited with the mitzvah that you're not doing it in a painful, afflicted way as if it is, that it should have its maximum value. My people don't have a problem with this one. You should learn less. Okay, so go to Starbucks, Irving Kipper. Can't waste time over there. It's okay. As long as you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're going to buy the coffee. Okay? I feel Tainus Chalom. One doesn't even fast the Yom Kippur, even a Tainus Chalom. What about a person that's fearful for his life? He feels Chas Vasholom. He dreamt, he feels he, he could actually he could die. He has a already fast until up to the Sudam Absekis. Vari min Hadin, Sagi Shiocho Pamachas. To fulfill the mitzvah, it's not just eat once. We made a masana hayom klal. Here, and if a person doesn't fast at all, erev yom kippur, tov shisana is yom achriyom kippur. For that terrible dream, you should fast another day. There's no Rabbi Sosalanter because of the mitzvah of eating your erev yom kippur, and people do it. They have a, a sucking can there in, in the mouth all day long, so it's a continuous fulfillment of the mitzvah of eating your erev yom kippur. He had a, 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 a bad dream on Shabbos, he fasted on Shabbos, and now every Yom Kippur is Sunday. So he's supposed to eat on Sunday. So normally he has to make it up. If you fast on Shabbos, you have to atone for the fasting on Shabbos. Talk about where it's Tanis Right? Elo Lisanos Erviv Kipurim El till after the makeup fast should be till after Sukkot. Well, if he does Taz Leos and Torfish Ches in Gimel, ain't Torf Loshu Shuv Lisanos Ach Yom Kipurim. Here, the only reason why you have to fast is to atone fasting on Shabbos. But since you just had Yom Kippur, you're fully atoned. So therefore, the Taz says there's no reason to fast to make to make up the makeup fast. If you don't keep her gamal zeh, you know, somebody said, you're saying the Taz, you already have kapara. The only reason why you have to fast is to to atone for fasting on Shabbos. But if you had your kipper, you were forgiven. So if you're forgiven, well, there's no reason to fast because you're ready. You've corrected that. So they ask. It's interesting. You go through nila, then you have myrit. Hashavenu l'shlach lo nevi kichatonu. Already forgiven in Yom Kippur. What do we say? It's You see, it's not so simple, right? It's not simple. Okay. You know.
already messed up with the Birchus Krishma. Okay? Umi Shikoshlo, a tiny child, Lishma Chalzer. Person with difficulty fasting, we rely on the Taz. Person made a netter, he doesn't eat meat only on Yom Tif. Today there's such Jews. I know such as people that uh, they don't eat fish or meat during the week. They only eat grains and, and fruits and vegetables. But meat and, and fish, that's fish obviously in Yom Tif. Person made, he, they made, it's a netter. So now all of a sudden you have every Kippur. So uh, is he permitted to eat meat? Or chicken, or whatever. This virus seems to the muta lecho because why? The veloshim they ought to make yom tov because that every kipper is called is, is classified as yom tov. Lo mi boy sur mapsekis and it's understood definitely sur mapsekis is permitted to eat. Ela af gam b'shachris dan regi lecho bosa gam b'shachris. Okay. You already says he says the minig is that every yom kipper even morning you you have a meat meal. Not only. The Surah Mabsekis. Chola Noda Daitin Mithogad Noda. Stop. It's interesting. The way, the way mo most people do it, what he's talking about. You come home, eat a uh, breakfast. Eat breakfast, or dinner, not meat. But then about maybe 11 o'clock, 11.30, you have a, a big meal. It's not as elaborate, chicken. It's not as elaborate as. Uh, Seconds. And then afterwards, you have to zoom up seconds. So you have really, every you keep it, you have two meals, which are pleasure. You have the one like 11, 11.30, which you normally call like brunch, brunch time. And then you have another meal right before you give it. Okay, that's it. But he says that's Avrugile. Anan, Rugile lecho bosa gam bishachris. Avalailo shilav yom kippur bosa. No, 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 definitely not. No, he's talking about Ervium Kipper. Not, not every day. No, 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 no. Ah, but Dav Kibben or the Mama Shal Mishal know that the hedge person didn't actually make the netter. El Shinoi Kach Shlecho Bosa Kim Yom Shain Hom Bel Tachnun. Azi, I feel belied, the Shervium Kibu Mutalech, Dav Kibben Lai Lamamish. Avalobi Kodum is the Avalbish is Pala Arvis. Okay. So there's a mitzvah lechol berry of nur sura mafsekis. Hagav also lisanos bo. I feel he said. Okay. Okay. Let's see the chumsel of us.